doing, compl when doing complex numbers, the main important thing is I want to go back to what we hopefully are familiar with and then introduce them. So we practiced taking the square root and cube roots of numbers, expressions. We did operations, blah, 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 blah. So basically, I just want to remind you guys of what the cube root represents. Cube root is what number multiplied by itself three times gives us 27. And hopefully, you guys can see that that can be written as 3 times 3 times 3. So the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3 is just 3. Thanks. Cube root says what number multiplied by itself three times gives you 27. Well, that's 3 times 3 times 3. Then the cube root says what number multiplied by itself three times gives you negative 27. Well, for an odd root, we can take the odd root of negative numbers. Because negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 gives us negative 27. Does everybody agree? Yeah. Okay. Now, for the square root means what number multiplied by itself twice gives us 27. Now, we can't do the square root of 27, but we can simplify that. And the way I'd simplify it would be 3. We know that it's 3 times 3 times 3. But square root only means a number multiplied by itself twice. So the square root of 3 times 3 would just be 3. And then I still have a 3 on the, on the inside. So we can't take the square root of 27, but in this case, we can simplify it. However, we have an issue when we try to do the square root or any even root of a negative number. Because for this to be negative, what I want you guys to understand is I can't multiply 3. I can't multiply this by, um, there's not two numbers that multiply to give you anything negative, right? I can only take out two numbers that are exactly the same. So it has to be either positive 3 and positive 3, right? I can't, I can't th positive 3 times, all right, no two numbers multiply to give you a negative 27. I can only take out the even root of 3. So it'd be 3 square root of negative 3. But what we're going to do is we can't take the square root of a negative number. And let me just even go through, let's do good negative 4, something that you can take the square root of. There's no two numbers that are exactly the same that multiply to give you negative 4. It's either 2 and 2 or negative 2 and negative 2, right? But both negative 2 and negative 2 and 2 and 2 give you positive 4, not negative 4. So this is impossible. So when taking the square root of a negative number, sure. when we're taking the square root, um, Q, 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 I don't need that. Why are you doing it? She asked me to come in and do something. I said yes. Well, you don't need any extra help. Thank you. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this as 3 times the square root of 3 times negative 1. Does everybody see that? Does 3 times negative 1 the same thing as negative 3? Sure. Yeah. Everybody agrees? Yes. So what we do is we rewrite the negative 1, the square root of negative 1, as our imaginary unit i. So it's 3 square root of 3 